up y'all, it's Cody here again. We're going over today on how to build an impressive back, a thick back, a back that everybody wants. A few reasons why the back is so important, working it out, making sure that you're getting a nice, strong and thick back. Number one, big back creates the illusion of a smaller waist. So everybody, you see all these like physique competitors and these bodybuilders, they have big wide backs because it does create an illusion that you have a tinier waist. Obviously, they have a small waist too though. But number two is functionally, it's probably one of the most important muscle groups outside of your legs. Your back keeps you erect holds you up tight. So much of what we do, sitting on a computer, your shoulders roll forward, sitting down all day in a sedentary just lifestyle or a desk or a work, whatever it is, there's so much compression and rolling your body forward. So you wanna build your back, build your erectors, make sure that you can draw your shoulders back so that when you're 70, 80, 90 years old, that you're not hunched forward. Also, there's always a lot of pain too. Everybody always talks about how your lower back always hurts, your lower back always hurts. You wanna make sure that you're building stability within your back. And then the last one is, Really because there are so many different muscles in your back, you wanna make sure that you have the appropriate workouts to hit each target area in your back, hitting all the different muscle groups from your lats, which is the big muscle group that everybody worries about, to your erectors, which keep your back up tight, to literally up to your traps. A lot of people think that your trapezius muscles are just here up on your neck, but they draw down to the middle of your spine in reality. So today we're gonna to go over different workouts that'll hit all the different muscle groups in the back, get a nice thick back going. So there's gonna be four main movements that we're gonna hit when we're working out our back. There's gonna be your pulling up motion. So those are your pull-ups, actually fighting gravity, drawing up, making sure that your body is in the correct angle and your body is perpendicular to the ground, your spine's perpendicular to the ground when you're pulling up. There's your extension movements. Those are your deadlifts. Those are where you're literally shooting your hips forward, extending, keeping stability within your back. There's your just true stability to workouts. That's your suitcase carry, your farmer's carry, and there's gonna be your rowing motions. Your rowing motions, are probably gonna be for like the everyday person. Rowing is super important because it combats that rolling of the forward of the shoulders. There's a lot of pulling and rowing motions that we're gonna be doing in these workouts, but we'll check them all out. We'll hit them all and make sure we're hitting our entire back from top to bottom. All right, so for this first workout, we're always gonna start with our most complex lift and our compound lift when we're doing body parts. So for today, we're gonna hit the deadlift. The deadlift is a full extension back workout. My favorite workout to do, you're gonna create a lot of power, a lot of strength within your lower back and your upper back. Key points on this, your approach is everything. Your feet just outside the shoulder width apart, your toes slight angle out. Big thing with the deadlift is you wanna make sure that you're moving at your hips versus rocking forward and bending in your knees. So what I mean by that is come down, hands right outside your legs. Rather than me bending at my knees and picking my heels up off the ground, I'm going to just shoot my hips forward throughout the lift. The lift is going to start at the bottom, finish at the top. Every single rep, you're going to drop the bar back down while maintaining control. I don't wanna see a lot of jerking movements in this. When you're getting to the really, really heavy lifts, you see a lot of those guys drop the bar. But for today, we're doing four sets of eight. Eight reps, you should be able to control the weight throughout the entire lift. this lift is to focus on keeping your weight in your heels, shooting through your hips, putting a lot of tension in your glutes, standing straight up with it, lock out, reset the bar. All right, so for this next lift, it's gonna be a supinated bent over row. Supinated means palms up. When I was in school, I remember that your hands are either in supination or pronation. I remembered it because it's like a, you're holding a bowl of soup. But anyway, supinated bent over rows. Big thing about this, Understand what muscles we're working. We're working our rhomboids and our lats right here. We wanna make sure that we're controlling the weight throughout the entire lift. Also, where the bar is tracking is really important. So if you're gonna get bent over while maintaining stability in your core, keep the rigidity within your core, shoot your hips back versus table topping over, you're gonna be right above 90 degrees, let's say about 110 degrees, if you're looking at the angle between your legs and your upper body. So again, athletic position, bend over, hands right outside of your legs. Stand up. The bar is going to track from the middle of your shins to just below your belly button.
light to moderate weight on that, four sets of 10. All right, so this next workout is gonna be single arm dumbbell rows. We're working three sets of eight each arm. Again, really big with this mind to muscle connection, understanding which part of your back we're really trying to work. Trying to work the big meaty part, the lat right here. So on these, find a bench, find a box, find something to put your hand up on so you can brace yourself. The arm that you're working, draw that leg back. The workout is a, get the full range of motion. You'll have a dumbbell from here, and you're gonna draw it back, lining up with your belly button. A lot of people bring it up here, a lot of people bring their arm out wide. Understand the muscle that we're working. We're working your lat. So you need to keep your arms in tight, squeeze your lat, lower the weight. When building muscle, the most important portion of the lift is the eccentric motion or the lowering of the weight. Don't rock when you do this. They paint a rich. Be nice and smooth with that one. Gonna be one of the best exercises that you can do to build your back. All right, so now we're gonna hit the cable rows with the triangle grip. With this workout, super important. Again, you keep your chest up, maintain a rigid and firm core. Also, where the lift is actually tracking, you wanna make sure that you're pulling it into your belly button and squeezing your rhomboids, squeezing your erectors, and releasing the weight. You see a lot of people that come way forward and come way back thinking that they can work out their lower back that way. That's not what this is designed for. Understand what muscle group trying to work out with each particular lift. So we're gonna hit three sets of 10 on this. Slow controlled reps. this mostly in your rhomboids understand that you're not trying to work out your lower back with this lift all right so next is gonna be the reverse pec deck for this workout we're trying to work out our erectors we're trying to work out all of the muscles in our scapula and even our posterior delt I think your delt is shoulder muscle but depending on how you retract your shoulders it falls in line with the muscles in our back so slow and controlled on this also a lot of people like to come here and bend their arms and think that they're working out their back. In reality, you're just doing a tricep workout. So you're gonna lock your elbows in a fixed position and you're gonna track the bar as such. Okay, four sets of 10 on that and that'll complete the workout that we're doing on our erectors. All right, so for this lift, it's gonna be a dumbbell seal row. Seal rows, you're gonna find a bench, a box, anything that's narrow enough to fit between both of your shoulders, but high enough that you can get at least a good extension within your arms, so that you can get a nice full range of motion pull. Most benches are too short. Some gyms come equipped with benches that are much higher, so for this exact purpose, so that you can get a nice full stretch and pull with your lats. Again, with this workout, we're drawing the weight directly up as if you're doing like a single arm lat pull with a dumbbell. So, slow controlled reps, we're gonna do three sets of 10 with a pause at the top always. With this workout, you're really, really, really trying to hit your erectors and your upper back. Squeeze at the top, 
get good mind muscle connection. All right, so for this workout, we're gonna do a dumbbell pullover. Pullover is one of the most underrated movements when it comes to building your lats. You're gonna get a nice full range of motion stretch in your lats and then pull it directly back over your chest. Big thing with this is keep your elbows in a fixed position. Again, a lot of people like to turn this into a skull crusher where they're coming back and they're just skull crushing the weight out. Fix your elbows, let the weight stretch it, bring it back right in front. We're gonna get three sets of 10 on this. exercise again slow controlled movements this is gonna help put on a lot of mass right within your lats all right so for this next lift it's gonna be the suitcase carry think of it literally as in like when you're carrying around a heavy suitcase and you're constantly having to tilt your body like this because your core is not strong enough that's what we're gonna work so this is gonna work your core along with your erectors remember I talked before about how your erectors are your stability muscles you keep your spine erect so make sure you have a nice healthy spine so for this we're actually going to be doing 20 steps down and 20 steps back. That'll be four sets. And you're gonna go ahead and make sure you're doing slow controlled movements, staying as upright as you can. I don't wanna see a lot of tilt this way. I don't wanna see a lot of tilt this way because you're working the core muscles and the back muscles that are keeping you upright. the workout for today. All right, so we've hit the full range of back from right at the top of your scapula all the way down through your erectors. Again, it's really important that you change the variety of the back workouts that you're doing. This one in particular hit most of the groups that we have right now. Again, changing angles, changing hand positions, changing time under tension is gonna get the maximum stretch and the maximum strength building capabilities of all your back lifts. But you guys can follow me on Instagram at the Cody Allen. Get some check-in for a new workout next week, but I'm out.